Hello nice people and welcome to the channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Andrea, I'm Italian, I'm a passionate uh, filmmaker and photographer and I'm here today to explain to you what is the system frequency. So guys, just to give you a little bit of context, this video is just a part of a series of videos related to the camera settings. So all the basic camera settings that you need to set up in your camera in order to shoot good quality video. So if you are interested in these topics, check out my channel page and in there you will find all the other tutorials and contents related to filmmaking, photography and creativity. Okay, if you want to consider to subscribe, well, in that case, even better, you will be notified all the time that I upload a new content. Okay, easy. So let's get started. I will not go too technical in this topic because I'm not an engineer, I'm not an expert in that. Uh, I just know what I need to know in order to set up my camera. So what you need to know is that the system frequency is related to the electrical power. So depending where you are, in which region of the world you are, you have a specific uh, frequency, system frequency of the electrical power. So for instance, here in Europe, we have a 50 Hertz uh, system frequency in US, they have 60 Hertz system frequency. So you need to check on the web where you are and what system frequency you have. The system frequency you select in your camera are probably these two, the NTSC format, that is the 60, the one they have in US, and the PAL format, the 50 Hertz. So what is, how to select? Yes, you need to know in which region you are and what, what is the uh, system frequency you have, because this impacts sometimes in the flicker of the light. So for instance, if we in Europe, I use an NTSC format, sometimes, not always, sometimes with electrical power, I have some flicker. So in that case, I have to reset my camera and put the system frequency of my region. So selecting the system frequency also unlock a series of settings related to the frame rate and the resolution of your camera. So even if I am in Europe, usually I like to shoot in NTSC because in NTSC I have access in my camera to uh, the 4K format uh, with the frame rate, so the frame per second of uh, 24, 30, 60. If I switch to PAL, I have access to other frame rate format like the, four, the 50, for instance, frame per second. So this is something that you need to decide uh, based on where you are and what is the frame rate and the resolution, the video resolution you want to have in your video. Okay, guys, that was all for me for today's video. Uh, I really hope that you get something out of it in case you have doubts, questions, or other things you want to get deeper. Let me know in the comment down below and I will answer quite soon. If you enjoyed the video, guys, put a like, subscribe in case you want to know more, and I will see you into the next video. Cheers.